Hi guys! So as you can see, I had some crazy, crazy morning hair that day. This was just second day hair. I had had it, you know, up after showering and everything for the day, from cleaning the house and up after my kids. A little tongue tied there. Um, yes, I do. My hair is naturally like frizz ball uh, because I do have naturally curly hair. So I am just going to quickly um just straighten my hair like a normal day um i don't mm, typically curl my hair because i just i don't know it's at this like funky length right now and i need to get it trimmed and shaped up and everything but i just haven't had the time to go and get it done so yeah, I am just quickly straightening it and yeah, it's pretty self-explanatory here. So I will just let you guys enjoy the music and I will talk to you guys in a second. So here I'm just using this Biomega Moisture Mist and I don't use this a whole lot but I do like it for the ends of my hair. That's where I mainly apply it just because those tend to get the most dry out of my hair. Here I'm just applying my L'Oreal Youth Code Pore Vanisher all over mainly in my t-zone where my pores are rather large <laughs> and in charge so then i'm just going to go in with my l'oreal true match in w3 i'm pretty sure that's the color that i used um, here and i just like to kind of dot it all over my face this is probably one of the only foundations that i do like to do that because it's not a hard foundation to work with. It blends very nicely. And I'm just using my beauty blender, my booty bender, <laughs> to apply this and even it all out all over my face. And uh, I don't really like to apply it on the lids of my eyes until like very last, pretty much because then there's not a whole lot of product left on the sponge and uh, because if there's too much product on the sponge it tends to uh, make my eyelids oilier so yeah but and then I'm just going to go in with my Mac Pro Longwear and just apply that underneath my eyes and just blend it out a little bit with my fingers <laughs> And then I'm going to go in with my Sigma uh, F86, 
I don't remember which one it is, but um, I will link it in the down bar for you guys. And just to, it's the tapered kabuki brush, just to blend that out even more, just because it picks up any excess product that doesn't really need to be there and um, helps it from creasing or looking cakey or anything like that. I absolutely love this brush. Uh, yes, it is rather large, but that's what's so wonderful about it. And then I'm going to set all of that with my um, Coastal Scents palette. That is my contour and blush palette. And I just use that kind of skin tone color in the white as well. And I just dab that on. And this is the um, Sigma uh, highlighting brush. I got this, all of the brushes that I'm using are from the Jaclyn Hill uh, box. They don't, they're not selling that anymore, but I will list all the individual brushes. And then I'm using my Maybelline Fit Me Foundation Stick. Uh, I don't remember what color this is in um, exactly, but I just got like one of the way darker colors in my face, obviously. And to contour with and I'm just applying that all in the areas that I like to contour I've been really into contouring my nose lately. I don't know why but Yeah, I've just been into it. Sorry. I was looking at my window. My husband and my kids were outside <laughs> And I just like to blend this out. This is not a Sigma brush, but this is um I can't remember the name of the brush exactly. They don't have like specific numbers or anything like that, but I will, if I can find the link to where you can get those, I will place that in the down bar as well. And so I'm just going and blending that out. And then this side, I kind of got a little carried away and took the bronzer too far down, but it's the beauty blender. That's what that's for. And then to blend out the one on the contour on my nose, I'm just taking this e.l.f. brush. It's a more of a dense concealer brush, I believe it is. And I absolutely love this brush, you guys. This is like the perfect brush if you want a really precise contour on your um, cheeks or for your nose contouring. It is amazing. And for this little to put a little extra underneath the lip to make the bottom lip look a little poutier. This is the Estee Lauder um, highlighting pen and this is the pink one. I just got this at my local uh, cosmetic counter outlet and this was, they didn't have any other colors. This was the only one that they had. I really um, wanted like all of them but they didn't have any of them in stock which was pooey but whatevs. So I'm just highlighting with this pen all over the face and then I'm going to blend it out with my sig with my fingers a little bit and then with my Sigma brush. And then I'm going to set all of this with my Victoria's Secret Prime and Set spray and I absolutely love that the setting spray it really really works it's almost like like literally like hairspray for your face so absolutely love it I'm just going in with max paint pot in painterly my always this is like my go-to never fails for me to use this I have been trying the elf one recently not a huge fan but I'm using all e.l.f. eyeshadows. This is the e.l.f. eyeshadow in wheat, and I'm just going to blend that in with uh, a Sigma brush. Uh, in my crease, this is gonna be the uh, blending color. And then I'm gonna go in after that with a very nice purpley um, elf color. It's called Wisteria. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous purple color. Uh, actually, this look was inspired by my daughter because I actually did this look on her the day before. She wanted me to put some makeup on her, so I just put some eyeshadow and some um, blush on her the day before. But I'm just packing this on all over the lid. It's a lot more vibrant than it looks on camera. 
I really, really wish that it would pick up like how pigmented this is. I mean, it's not like overly pigmented, but it's perfect. It's the perfect purpley lilac -y color. Now I'm going in with Driftwood by e.l.f. just to uh, apply that on the outer corner to kind of smoke it out a little bit. Put some more depth in those eyes. And all these shadows are pretty, I wouldn't say shimmery, but they all have a definite sheen. So if you're not one of those people who likes those kind of shimmery, sheeny eyeshadows, I wouldn't recommend the e.l.f. eyeshadows, but they are really nice and I do really like them a lot. I just wish they had matte colors that didn't have any type of like sheen or shimmer or anything like that because that would just be perfect. But I am going to be purchasing some Coastal Scents ones soon, which I will be doing a review and a whole nother video on that. But just after that, blend, 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 ladies. That will make, that is the key to any eye look, any face look, anything. Girls, you've got to blend, blend, blend. It makes your look look flawless. Here I'm just packing some more Wisteria on. And then I'm going in with Pink Ice, which this color does not look pink at all to me. It's more of like a creamy white, which I absolutely love it. Putting it on the inner corners of my eyes. And here I'm just going back with uh, Wheat and Driftwood and applying that on my lower lash line just to kind of pull that whole eye look together. And then after that, I am using one MAC, pick, one MAC eyeshadow, and it is in Shroom. Absolutely the perfect brow highlight shade. Like, oh my gosh, if you guys don't have this, go out and buy it, or go online and just buy the pot. Oh my gosh, amazing, amazing color. Perfect on any skin tone, just perfect. I'm just going in with my L'Oreal uh, Black Gel Liner. This is my favorite, favorite way to do my eyeliner. My winged eyeliner, just, oh my gosh. Absolutely love this product. I will never, ever, like, stray from this. I will always have it in my makeup drawer because it's just the perfect, it's so creamy, and oh, it's just perfect, guys. It's amazing, I just can't say enough about it. It doesn't give that shininess, it just glides on, it's really easy to work with, and I've had mine for quite a while and it has not dried out, thank goodness. My Maybelline one tended to dry out rather quickly on me, which I'm not sure if maybe it was just me or what, so. But I absolutely love, love, love this gel liner. And then I'm just taking my MAC Eye Coal in Smolder and tight lining and lining my water, my lower water line with it. And then for the rest of my face, I'm using e.l.f. Blush in Candid Coral. I believe that's what it's called anyways, I'm almost positive. But I'm just taking this Real Techniques, Techniques brush and I recently purchased this and started using it and I'm going to have to go buy like two more for my kit because oh my gosh, talk about perfect blush application with this brush. Now I'm going with the Bombs Bahama Mama Bronzer. This is probably my all-time favorite bronzer. Absolutely love it, especially for when I'm more tan. Don't really tend to use this a whole lot during the winter when I'm not so tan, but perfect bronzer for so many, so many colors. Like, you can really work with it. You can do a heavy application, light application. It's just awesome. And then, like I said before, Blend, 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 ladies. Flawless look. Everything will just blend together and go together and it will make you look flawless. And then I am just going to set the rest of my face with a translucent powder or 
typically either translucent powder or my MAC MSF. And just using my CoverGirl mascara that they discontinued. I think it's Lash Perfection. I believe that's what that one was called. But I'm not exactly positive, but I'm pretty sure. Which I'm really upset that they discontinued this because this is like my all-time favorite mascara. And I cannot find it anywhere that's left over to stock up on it. There's a bug in it. <laughs> Sorry, my daughter's right here. Okay, um, just doing one coat of all of the CoverGirl mascara, and then I'm going in with my Maybelline The Rocket. Now, I think I mentioned in a previous video, if I'm not mistaken, that I was not a fan of this mascara. Now, I am not a fan of this mascara on its own. It is the worst thing. It like clings to my lashes and does not want to come off if I use it by itself. But if I put something else on first, it works pretty well. So this is the first lip option that I am doing for you guys. It's the NYX Butter Lipstick in Hubba Bubba with uh, the Buxom plumping lip gloss in uh, white Russian. I just recently picked this up from Sephora when my husband and I went to Myrtle Beach a couple of weeks ago and oh my gosh, love this stuff. I mean, the only thing about the whole tangling part is, is like if I, I don't want to kiss my baby and then it bother him or anything. This is the, another option. This is another NYX butter lipstick. I cannot remember what this color is, but I will have it listed. <laughs> I'll have everything that I'm, all makeup products that I'm using listed down below. And I'm topping that with Milani's Grapefruit Lip Gloss. Absolutely love these. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and share this video and thumbs it up. I will talk to you guys later.